Hi, this is Mike Kent. I'm a professor of computer information technology at San Jacinto College. I teach on the central campus. I teach Introduction to Visual Basic Programming ITSE 1331. I, this is the first of a series of videos that are going to help teach you the class. So in this video I want to show you how to download my example programs and open them up and run them. So the first thing I need to do is go over to Units of Work. Then I'm going to scroll down to Unit 1, Chapter 1, and you can tell this is riveting, just riveting cinematography here. Uh, let's go on to Code Examples, Chapter 1 Code Examples. And Chapter 1 only has one code example, and you'll see it's right here called Hello World. And I have two versions of it. I have one for Visual Studio 2010. I want to get the one for Visual Studio 2013, which is Visual Studio Express Edition 2013 for Windows Desktop. That's the version you need. I'm going to right click on this and say Save Link As. Now I'm using Google Chrome. It may be a little bit different in your web browser. And I actually have a folder on the desktop called 1331 that I created using new folder. I'm going to go into that folder and that's where I'm going to save the work. So this project, here's my 1331. Uh, the Visual Basic projects are a folder, a series of files, subfolders. It's not just one file. That's why you're going to see the projects as zips. So I'm going to right click on this and say extract all and I can run through the little wizard right here for extract and when this is done you'll see now I have a hello world folder and a hello world zip. I actually do not need the zip file anymore I'm, I'm gonna just go ahead and get rid of it and I'm gonna go into the folder now one of the quirks you get with an extracted when you extract a zip file in Windows is it creates a folder by this exact same name as the zip file so now we have a folder inside of a folder so I've got to go a little deeper okay here's my project now when you go to run your project you want to double click on the SLN on the Microsoft Visual Studio solution to open the project so I'm gonna double click on this it's gonna launch Visual Studio 2013 this you may get this message if you're not running it from your hard drive if you're running it from like a cloud drive and this is okay and I'm gonna say okay here get it to load my project and it loaded quite quickly the first time you go to load your project load a project it's not gonna load this fast I I had already opened up uh, Visual Studio Express Edition before I made this video so it popped open quite fast now that I'm in the project you don't see anything. That's not very exciting. Uh, and you may get a start page. If you have a start page, you can close it. But over here in my Solution Explorer, you'll see I have Form1.vb. Well, in Visual Studio, in Visual Basic, windows are called forms. So I'm going to double click on Form1, and it's going to pop it up. And here is my program. So on the program, it's got a text box. It's got a label, it's got a couple radio buttons, and it's got some command buttons. I want to run this program, so I can show you what it does. So I'm going to come up here to start, and if you hit the, uh, I can hit start, or if you go to the debug menu, you can say start debugging, and you'll notice that the shortcut key, the keyboard shortcut key is F5. But right now I'll just hit start. The program's going to pop up. I can type in my name. I can say do it. it. says hello Mike. I can say hello world. It just puts hello world in here. I can make the color red. I can make the color blue. I can clear my label and I can exit the program. So now I have opened up the project and I can run it. But there had to be some Visual Basic code written behind the scenes to make these things happen and I want to show you how to look at the code. Well, a couple things I want to show you. First of all, when you're on your form window, over here all the way to the left you'll see Toolbox. And if I click on that, it'll open up all the controls I can add to my form. Now, 
when I click off of it, it goes away. So I'm going to go back to Toolbox, and I'm going to hit this push pin right here to leave my Toolbox pinned up. Okay, that's one thing you're going to want to do. The next thing I'm going to do is I want to look at the code. I want to look at the Visual Basic code behind the scenes. So I'm going to double click on Hello World right here on the button. That's the easiest way to get the code window open. So right now you'll see Private Sub, Hello World Click and some other stuff that we don't need to worry about at this point. Now what this means is when the user clicks on this button run everything inside this procedure. Everything between private sub and in sub is what's going to be run. And there's one line of code. It says take the string hello world and put it into the text property of label hello. So if I go back to my form design window up here, this is label hello. I can tell that's the name of my label by coming over to the properties window. This is all the properties of this label. Now right now they are in categories. It's in appearance categories. This is all the appearance, appearance properties. Uh, I can go down to uh, the behavior category. Don't, don't worry about all these right now. What I'm going to do though is actually I'm going to come up here and say sort these alphabetically and at the, now if I look at the properties it will put the name property at the very top and you'll see that this label is named label hello. So that's why this line of code says in the text property of the label put hello world into the text property of label hello. So this, you see the equal sign? That's not math equal sign. This is the assignment operator. This says take whatever's on the right side, put it on to the left side. The text property of a control is what shows up on that control. So you see right now the program, when the program is run, the text property has yo in it. So that's the first thing that's going to pop up. If I look at the do it button, open it up, you see what it does is it takes the word hello uses the ampersand operator which means concatenate take what's in the text box txt name is the name of that text box and puts it with hello and puts it in the label now I can also show you the exit button exit button is pretty easy it just says me dot close so now I'm looking at the code of this project. I'm going to close this window back out and go back to the form view and that's how you look at these example programs. I'm going to hit my close button right here. By the way I'm going to emphasize this again and again. Anytime you're saving your project I want you to do save all. Do not do save as or say if you do a save as you are going to screw up your project. If I do a save form one as and go to save part of my project in a different location, I'm leaving 99% of my project in that folder where the project was created and I'm saving one part of it. So when you go to turn your lab into me, you're going to have a missing part. So I'm going to hit my X button right here and close. I'm going to hit save all and then I'm going to hit my X button to close. So this folder right here is my entire project. This is, and if I open it up, you see it has extra files, it has extra folders, it has a binary folder, it has a debug, a release. It's a whole collection of files. To turn a project into me for this class, you have to turn in the entire folder, and I'll show you how to do that in another video. So, that's all I got for you on this one. And anytime you have a question, make sure you contact me.